Revelations chapter number 16, verse number 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Now we're moving on to the sixth angel of the six last plagues. He pours out his bowl or he pours out his vial. And it's not just anywhere where he pours out his vial. His vial or bowl is poured on the great Euphrates River. We know about the great Euphrates River. The Great Euphrates River is part of the Fertile Crescent. And if you do any research, the Fertile Crescent is the Tigris, the Euphrates, and it stretches to the Nile, or that area is called the Fertile Crescent. And some of the most ancient civilizations are located in that area. So for the river. Euphrates that has fed men for literally thousands of years to dry up. What type of catastrophe could that be? The great Euphrates River dried up. Now, we have to take a look. What could this be? What, what kind of clues, what kind of hints can we draw from the scriptures? Well, number one, the fifth plague, the plague right before this, this, there was a darkness that was poured out upon the beast. His government, his throne, and his kingdom was full of darkness. And the pain from that was so bad till they gnashed their tongue. So whatever this darkness was, like we said before, it had some physical effect. It did something physically that caused sores and pain. So ancient Babylon was located with the Euphrates River running right through the midst of it. So do we think that the fifth plague and the darkness, whatever that may be, that caused those pains, that caused that soreness, that thick darkness, probably that poisonous cloud. Did it have something to do with the great river Euphrates drying up? Because if it was poured in the location of ancient Babylon, then it would have been poured right into the river Euphrates. Something to think about. Something to wonder about. God, in the name of Jesus, we're going to look on and bless and have your way. Touch hearts and minds and help your people everywhere. In the name of Jesus, thank God. Amen. Have a great day.